All right, these are my favorite, most effective purchases to kick booty in medical school and my least favorite that I think are a complete waste, complete waste of money that everybody tells you that you need, you do not need them. I'm telling you. First one, a new computer. I am so cheap. I had a cheapo um, Microsoft. Uh, it needed to go. I did not want to buy a new computer. I wanted to just use my old one, but I knew that there were going to be programs that I needed to download. Um, just the applications on a new computer are so helpful and having the having plenty of memory, having the thing work quickly, like be able to download quickly. Um, all the features, like got to get a new computer. I'm, I'm, that is like the most important. The second most important purchase is so cheap. It'll help you offset the expensive computer. It's just a pair of um, computer glasses. So I love these. Um, eye strain was a real thing, especially because we're fully online. Just these stupid gamma ray glasses, something, whatever brand you want to get. They, they don't have to be expensive at all. They should be like, be like 10 bucks. Super cheap. These, these were fantastic. And, uh, because you're looking at a computer for hours, eight hours, really helpful. Um, the third best purchase that I, that I think everybody should do is get the Anki app for their phone. It's 20 bucks. I know that's kind of expensive. It might be more now. Um, I know it seems like, oh, I gotta buy a $20 app on my phone. Um, but it is so stinking helpful. I love it. I, I type all my Anki on my computer because it's got a keyboard and you can work fast. Um, and then what I love to do, and a lot of people are gonna disagree that this is a good thing, but I love to do my Anki first thing in the morning while I'm in bed because I don't really like to jump out of bed. I like to sit there and chill. And, and instead of scroll, like what everybody loves to do, I sit there and do Anki. I love that because it's, it's quiet in the house. I've just woken up. It's nice to just start my day with a couple questions. That's what I like to do. And then right before I go to bed, I'll do them until I fall asleep. Like they'll, Anki can sometimes be really boring because you got so many of them. And I love like just being bored out of my mind doing a couple Anki questions. <laughs> and then also like if you're waiting in line or whatever, like you have any time, just do a couple questions on your phone. That's what's, that's what's really nice about having it on your phone. You can just do it. So the $20 is like definitely worth it. You're not strapped to you have to be on your laptop. You can do it anywhere. So that's number three. Number four is a whiteboard. And it doesn't even have to be gigantic like this. It could be a little guy, big one, whatever. I like the big one because I like to do big, um, big pathways. Whiteboard was a fantastic purchase. And, and a good variety of pen colors, like all kinds. I love that. Just keeps it more fun, more like you're drawing than, than you're actually taking notes. I like to make them really nice and, and pretty. <laughs> so whiteboard, super, 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 um, super effective to help you maximize your, your studies. So that's number four. Number five, this one is like, you may not have to purchase this. You just need a high table. This is a stand-up desk. Just something where you're standing up tall and not sitting all day. That's that's the best one. There's so many different, you know, you can spend a lot of money. You can have something with the, the desk and there's different tiers. This is just a piece of, um, just a tabletop on some metal stands. It's not an expensive setup. Um, you can have any kind of setup you want. Just something that elevates you, uh, your computer so that you can stand. Um, I... I thought, personally, I thought you would become more fatigued from standing all day. Um, that is not the case. I actually even stood the entire duration of one exam, and I found out I was way more productive because you're standing, you know? You're, yeah, you're standing for three, four hours for the whole day, um, but you're, you're, it keeps you awake, it keeps you active, so that like, especially in the last block of an exam when you start getting tired, Having an exam, being able to stand was like really nice. I could keep my energy up. 
So, my least favorite purchase, it's only one, was this guy right here, the iPad. Everything that I heard was that you needed one of these for, for taking notes, especially with the stylus. So I got the one with the stylus. I bought this on eBay used. I think it was like 500 bucks. Um, iPad Pro. Um, so I was all prepared to use this for first term. I was ready to take notes like crazy. This, <laughs> and, and especially because I was a hand writer for so long, like I'd take notes by hand. I never typed my notes. Um, I did not find this thing effective. I mean, yeah, it was nice to take notes, but since lectures go so fast, I had to transition to a style of taking notes that I've never, that was more efficient and it was typing. It was typing my notes. Actually, I didn't even type them into like a program. I typed them straight into Anki. For me, that was the most effective. And I never knew that. I never did that. I would always take hand notes. I thought, oh, this is gonna be great. But this was a $500 waste of money. Jeez, well, not a complete waste. I mean, it's kind of nice that now I have a big screen for FaceTime, but you do not need one. All you really need, good computer, whiteboard, that you need for sure. Because good glasses, there's 10 bucks. And uh, the Anki app, you need the Anki app. So that's my list of things that you need for medical school. I hope that was helpful. Now go and kick some butt.